Hey guys, welcome back. So what we have here are my Sakura flower silicone molds that I got from BB Craft in my October BB Craft haul. I'll link that so you guys can watch that. Um, and I decided that I'm going to make both today. I'm going to do one in resin and one in uh, mixed mold. So we can see how it looks on both of them. Over here, I have an ounce and a half of my Philitim one to one resin that I have uh, mixed, and I am going to let that uh, degas for a little while. And then over here, I have a scoop of my mixed mold uh, that we are going to be mixing up and then molding, hence the name. So I'm just going to be adding a little bit of water at a time until I get the consistency that I want. Which is a loose pancake batter, a crepe batter, if you will, consistency. A bit reminiscent of heavy cream. Or double cream, depending on your global locale. And I used the scoop that came in the bag of mixed mold because this is technically considered a small mold. Um, so I didn't want to use, I didn't want to make up too much mixed mold. Making sure that I get the corners of my cup. And when I say corners, I know it's a round cup. Round things don't have corners. But I mean the, the right angles between the bottom of the cup and the side of the cup when I say corner. Um, just so you don't think that I'm, I've completely lost the plot. I want to make sure that that is mixed together well. All right, so for our resin, I am going to decant a little bit off into my little silicone doodah here and grab my about alcohol ink set. I'm going to be using pink. for our big cup of resin. So one, two, three. And then for this little guy right here, I'm going to be using golden. So I'm going to go ahead and add one, two of my golden. So those colors are ready to go. Now for our mixed mold, I'm going to be doing generally the same thing, only uh, I'm going to be using my Resincrete pigments from the lovely and talented Addiction. So let me get a little bit of this poured off here. So in the middle, or in the little one, I guess, yellow. One, two, splotch, splotch. And in the big one, I'm going to be using red. So there's that. Let 
Let's see, let's get these mixed up. Since I have less of a working time on my mixed mold than I do on my resin, I'm just going to go ahead and get these mixed up and poured in. There's the bread. I'm going to go ahead and, first of all, take that hair off. I don't really want that in my project. Pour in our red. Get off my stick. Gently mix our yellow. Turn the cup around. And pour it. I'm going to take my pokey silicone tool here, just kind of make nifty patterns in the bottom of the mold. Now whether or not that's going to translate to the actual project, I don't know. But we can always give it a shot, right? Yep. So now that that is finished, I'm sorry, I have the hiccups, guys, so you're going to have to pardon my squeaking. Uh, let's go ahead and get our pink mixed up here for our resin flower. And it is going to look darker in the cup than it will in the mold because this is a, you know, deeper vessel. I'm kind of speed running both of these, aren't I? Uh -huh. All right, so let's pour in our pink. Bloop, bloop. Get that down in there. Maybe. Might only need an ounce of it. You never know. So let's get our golden mixed in here. And the golden itself is going to be a lot more subtle than the pink, just by and large because it's a very sheer color to begin with. So let's get that in. Just going to pour that right in the middle. Everybody say hi to Catherine Critter, who has decided to come in here and open boxes while I'm filming. Hello, everyone. All right. And then in that, I'm going to go ahead and add some more pink. So maybe we'll get some lovely colored layers. Really? All right, guys. So I will see you for the demold uh, or next steps or whatever. I will see you then. So just to kind of let you guys know what I did, I had some leftover glow-in-the-dark resin that I just made a little spiral in the bottom of the flower. And uh, so, yeah. Just kind of wanted to see what it would do. This is the other project that I made.
it's just a heart with the leftover pink resin from here and then I made up some uh, glow in the dark in clear and uh, yeah so we'll see see you later okay so it's been about half an hour and our mixed mold flower is ready to come out and I don't want to leave it in there for too long because I don't want it to run the risk of you know sweating and uh, getting all weird so we can go ahead and demold this guy and see what he looks like And since this is the first time that I'm using these molds, I'm interested to see the finish on them. Very nice, and even the underside is uh, is very pretty because who doesn't like an attractive underside? So very nice. I like the detail on the top. So neat. So I have decided to embellish this flower. So what I have here, I'm shaking up in the background, making a terrible racket doing it, is my uh, Let's Resin Gold Chrome Marker. And what I'm going to do is just take it and go around the inside of the petals, not all the way around the entire dish, just these little parts of the petals. So, let's see if that gives it that lovely accent. And then gently, in these little raised portions, So now that that's done, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to make this into a bit of a dish, uh, a jewelry catching disc dish. So what I have here is I made some uh, a, a little project of some time back uh, of acorns. So what I have here is one of my little acorns that I made in that uh, holly brown color, and. I am going to do is add it to the center of the dish. So I have some of my uh, Gorilla Super Glue, and then I'm going to put this little guy down in the middle like that. And then obviously we're going to let the super glue dry. Okie doke. So for our next trick, I'm going to be uh, sealing this, glazing it, if you will, varnishing it, uh, just, you know, to add something. So I've got my uh, Deco Art Duraclear Gloss Varnish that I'm going to put 
some over here in my little silicone dish. And I apologize about the noise in the background, but apparently somebody has decided that they need to be loud as hell while doing the dishes. Um, what I have here is my uh, Chameleon Powder in Magnolia Sunset from my Alexis brand. Chameleon powder set, link in the description. And I'm just putting a tiny, I mean, you can see just absolutely minute amount in there. And I'm going to go ahead and get this mixed together. All right, so now that that's done, we're just going to go ahead and let that dry because as exciting as watching paint dry is, I'm sure you guys don't really want to do it. It's time to demold. It's time to deflower. <laughs> All right, so let's find a chink in the armor here. And again, links for everything that I'm using are going to be down in the description box so you can see for yourself. I did get some bubbles, but that's okay. I'm alright with that. That looks really nice. So you can see the little raised bits in the middle. Much like we did with this dude. I'm going to go around with the gold chrome marker pen. Now, if you're going to use the gold chrome marker or the chrome markers uh, of any color um, on a project, if you plan on sealing it with anything wet, uh, make sure you let it dry completely first. Otherwise, it's just going to smear all over the place and make a mess of mess. Um, that's just a little tip from me to you because I've done it many times. But I think that that is very cute, very nice. And here's our little heart that I used, or that I made. So, of course, everybody's like, well, you put glow in the dark in it, why don't you show us the glow in the dark? Okay. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Get one step ahead of me here. Yeah. There it is. Of course, you know, the light's on in here, so it's not going to be super bright, but you can see that it did turn out. So, yeah. There we go. So, let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you again on the next one.
Take care, guys. Cheers.